Hello everyone, in this video we will be dealing with cyclohexane. So firstly we will see about the chair conformation. Why do cyclohexane exist in chair conformation and how to draw chair form. Also we will study about the types of bond in chair form, ring flipping and substitution in chair form. So why do uh, cyclohexane exist in chair form? Uh, we should wonder about it. So the main reason is to get stability. Why? Why do it needs to get stability? Why does it not exist in this form? It do exist in this form also, but in this form, it is in planar form. So uh, this ring is very flexible and also we can say due to strained ring also. So how does this chair form looks like? It looks like this. Don't worry, I will be drawing along with you so that you can also understand how it's drawn. So what we do first is we draw two lines, dotted lines. This is for our convenience if you are drawing it for the first time. And then here comes the main part. Firstly, we draw two parallel lines. Okay. This should be somewhat tilted. Okay. Not straight. And then like this and this, this. This is how it looks like. It can be drawn this way also or this way also. Both are correct. Now, next comes the types of bond in chair form. There are two types of bond in chair form. Axial bond and equatorial bond. You can see it clearly. Uh, with green color, I have highlighted the axial bond. How do we draw these axial bond? These axial bond are very easy to be drawn. We draw it parallel to the vertical line. Let us assume a vertical line, for example, say this. It's not necessary to draw this dotted line every time. This is for our convenience if we are drawing it for the first time. So we draw parallel to it the axial bond on each of the corner. Similarly, at this point also, at this carbon also. These are our axial bond which are parallel to a vertical line. Next comes the equatorial bond. The one uh, marked with the red are equatorial bond. It is very easy to draw these also. Okay. Now, which bonds are above and which, which bonds are below? It is very easy. See, the one which are lying above are above. See, this one. But this is not above, this is below. This is below. This is above. It is facing upward, no? So it is above. This one also above. This is below. This is also below. This is above. Okay? Now, uh, there is one more thing which we usually see is ring flipping. What is ring flipping? And why does a ring, uh, this chair form ring, why do it flip? And we are very aware about it that everything in this nature needs to get stable. So in order to get stability, it flips. How do this flipping occur? See, let us assume this is a chair A and this is a chair B. From chair A to chair B, we need to go. This can be achieved by flipping. So uh, remember one thing. During flipping, during flipping, above bond remains above and below bond above remains above and below remains below but axial become equatorial and equatorial become axial see as we have already seen the green one are our axial bond. So after this when we flip the ring we get it in equatorial bond. Okay. And similarly for equatorial bond if we see it gets to axial. During this transformation there are three more structure which are achieved or transition state we can say. The first is half chair uh, twist board and again the half chair. So firstly what happens the ring slowly uh, tries to flip. So this part comes down, tries to come down 
So this structure is being achieved. This is called half chair. It is somewhat like that. Okay. Then it uh, transformed to twist board. Next is half chair. And it finally reaches the uh, next chair which we are uh, going to achieve after flipping. This is how it is achieved. Now, okay, let me help you with half chair structure. How to draw it easily. Let me take a sheet. It is very easy. We can also draw it like this. Firstly, draw a straight line. And then one above and then one below during a half chair remember uh, four carbon lie in one plane this is our half chair so let us number one two three four five and six this is our easiest form of half chair also uh, if you want to draw our board form so it can be done like this twist board form sorry sorry mm, this and then this again the numbering comes one two three four five six now let us look into the stability of the structure if we draw if you plot a graph between reaction coordinate and energy in kilojoule per mole so we see that chair form is of the least energy here say it is of zero kilojoule per mole then we will see it transform to half chair as we have seen here above so it transform to half chair and then it changes to twist boat see this then twist boat to true boat true boat to twist boat again and half chair and then finally chair b so what happens is if we uh, when we plot this graph we see that uh, after chair confirmation the next which is stable structure is twist boat form and then true boat and then finally half chair it is the least stable one on the basis of energy we know that higher the energy less is the stability energy energy is inversely proportional to stability so next the last point which is why axial bond uh, having bulky group unfavor or why equatorial bond are favored this is because see whenever we are adding any substituent to, uh, in a chair form we always mark it to the equatorial bond wherever we do this is because uh, because of the one three diaxial interaction whenever we uh, do it on axial position there is an interaction between one and three position this is called diaxial interaction so this is what about cyclohexane hope you liked the video and if any suggestions are there, then please suggest. This was the first video and I'll definitely improve in the next. Thank you.